Hello, I'm Michael Halcom, author of Entering the Fray, a New Testament primer for the Church and Academy. In the 11th chapter of the book, I look at a dozen archaeological finds related to the New Testament. Some of these are inscriptions, some are texts, some are ruins, and others are relics. Here, I deal with items such as the famed Gallio inscription, the so-called Jesus family tomb, the supposed house of the Apostle Peter in Capernaum, and among a number of other things, the Shroud of Turin. Which of these discoveries have any bearing on the way we read the New Testament? Which of these shed light on the world of the New Testament? Are all of these uh, true discoveries? Which ones might be false? When might we be asking too much of these finds? I'll deal with these and other questions in this chapter. If you've ever had an interest in how archaeology relates to the New Testament, I trust you'll find this chapter illuminating. For more on these and related New Testament issues, check out the book and website. Thanks.